Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, last match of the season, just have been busy, so a lot of matches that I might have considered recording just never got recorded, so <laughs> we're not going to worry about it. Uh, the main thing here, of course, is this team is a classic dual save team, and they generally have their placements okay. Uh, not very much team support in terms of helping out the save units, so that probably really will help us out. Our main play is most likely to wait till turn 3 and then take out at least one of the save units. I'm kind of thinking about greeting and taking out two of the save units, but we kind of have to verify that it's actually safe to do so. I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> uh, that's the main problem, I would say. Other than that, uh, Wings of Mercy is going to be an issue, of course, on Saros because of that. It probably will make it impossible for us to actually bait. But uh, we could, for example, have Regan here and just take out Brave Edelgard because at a whopping 17 HP. <laughs> She's not, she's not going to survive Regan, not even close. You don't even have to calc it because of Senior Shell. That's just a guaranteed one shot by a mile. Uh, it's, it's, I think, just ballparking numbers in my brain here. It's not close for a one shot it's from full HP because of a ARD defense res. Her res is actually not 41. It's more like... 51 we could make it 48, but I that's not enough to make it a difference. I don't suspect But uh, so she's an easy takeout brave Hector. He's going to be at what is that? 23 HP and He'd be up against I guess Marianne so Marianne would have like 69 attack against him Minimum yeah 69 minimum and then she inflicts minus nine overall on Hector. So that's 37 res, I want to say. 37. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting numbers. 37, 23 is, yeah. So we do, we do pick up the kill after bolt tower damage. That's good. Question is, can we get away with it? And I think the answer is probably no. <laughs> Uh, because the only way we can proc far save and actually leave is probably by attacking here and dancing and then repos or dancing to the left here and then repositioning out. This leaves Marianne here, uh, which means Katria gets to walk in <laughs> because uh, Marianne's defense is uh, very high, as you can see, <laughs> uh, which is kind of a problem because she's. I'm pretty sure we can't prevent Harmonized Katria from yoinking the defense tile, which means Dual Alphonse gets to fling himself in. And at that point, we have to verify that uh, we can actually kill Alphonse, because if we don't, there's Wings of Mercy Saros. He is at 12 HP, but uh, he's also kind of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's kind of in a pretty solid spot also known as the defense tile because he let's see how much res would he have um we're gonna be above 25 percent, so that's not a problem it's going to have 46 51 well, actually, we're going to break these two structures. So there's only four structures left, which means that's plus seven. Should probably be actually precise with this, because I think it's going to be a pretty close margin. Um, in terms of support, again, I don't think we're going to see anything here. If Dual Alphonse does get to attack. It's going to have 32 speed. So Marianne just doubles with Icy Fimblevetter. I believe. Well, that's 38. She's going to be adjacent to Raisin. So, we probably want to have Brave Veronica in range to buff as well. That'd probably be nice. But anyways, 48. Right. And then, minus 9. It's 39. 
Ply to the fence, Tal is 50. All right. And then Mary Ann's going to be adjacent to Rayson. So that's not great for us. That's 60. That's 10 times 2, AKA a kill. Also, when we if we attack Brave Hector, Special Fighter will no longer be active. So Brave, so Marianne gets one charge off, which means dual Alphonse. As long as we double him, we'll get obliterated by Iceberg. So yeah, as long as we don't die. So how much damage does he do? 70, 75. Right, yeah. I don't think joint drive attacks ever going to be active in any way. That's not a concern. Uh, so then minus nine from Marianne's kit is 66. 66 against uh, probably 46, I would imagine. 20 times two plus ruptured sky. Uh, that is a very close margin. <laughs> uh, if he if he does a attack twice, that is, I don't think it's possible for him to attack twice because Harmonized Catcher has to move first, which means, oh, I guess it is possible. Yikes. Uh, I guess that assumes Harmonized Catcher goes this way, which should never happen, I don't believe. Uh, time for us to get wrecked because of it, but, uh, actually, is Wings of Mercy ever a problem? I don't think so. So, yeah, the game plan right now looks like we want to buff Marianne with Brave Veronica. Wait, that boosts ruptured sky damage, though. Do we want that? <laughs> uh... Also, is being here safe? Well, I guess by extension, if Rayson's here, then it, we kind of want it to be safe regardless. So I think that's fine. Uh, I don't see any variation where Sarah's can attack and dual lift his way out of reach. So that means we could theoretically have Plumeria buffing for Rez as well. We could have her dance Regan as well to get Regan the heck out of there. Is that we don't want Regan <laughs> sticking around. So, the plan is somehow to set up. Uh, this is a long video, and I'm so brain dead. You'll, you'll see why in the uh, episode, the next video coming after this, because a certain game mode came out, and I fried my brain playing that, playing that too much. Uh, <laughs> so, we want Regan here at the start of turn three. We probably want Race in here. And Marianne here. And then it doesn't really matter where Plumeria is. She can just stand here already in place. And then Brave Veronica can be like over here, I guess. So yeah, here we go. Let's get started here. Uh, actually, we should probably be a bit more precise with how we set up here. Uh, that's probably true. Or we could freestyle. <laughs> or we could freestyle. Yeah, I, I like freestyling. Um, anyways, this is probably not going to end well. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is safe. Trademark. Alright, we can do this. Into this. Into this. Into this. Alright, seems good. And then, uh... Oh, uh, that's actually kind of close. Huh. Interesting. Uh, my ballpark calcs are wrong. Uh, it's probably not wrong. It's just rounding too many numbers causes things you don't necessarily expect to happen. Um, I kind of want to greed and take out the ether structure immediately here, but pretty sure that's not an option. So we're just going to... Is breaking this a bad idea? Probably, let's not break that. I think we want to make the AI more linear in terms of movement. So, is there any way we could greed here? I don't think so. I really want to take this out already, but uh, that would require Plumeria to do things. Uh, and we can't really do that from how we've set ourselves up here. So I think we will just plop race in here to set up. Uh, Regan, we can just break the bolt tower, break the bolt tower. 
I mean, if we're going to flex at the end, we're going to need to break that anyways. <laughs> um, Naga being here doesn't hurt us. I don't think Brave Veronica here hurts us either. So let's go. Oh, we screwed this up. Oh no. Oh no. Rayson can't dance Marianne from here. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we're just gonna have to pull a smite off then. Probably like a smite with uh, Plumeria will do it. And I'll be fine. Uh, so first, of course, exclamation point order. We have to take out the far save guy first. And of course, we trivially pick up the kill in the near save. So let's uh, do this. Retreat back here. And then now it's a matter of how we move our units here. Brave Veronica, I kind of just want to put down one. Then we smite up uh, Plumeria, dance Marianne to the left repo. And then Raisin can just dance Regan and we can go on from there. But we could alternatively put I think it's actually probably best if we put Veronica here because that allows us to smite her up if we want her to be, to get the smite up. Um, it will be done. We probably overlook something here, so uh, we'll regret life decisions later. <laughs> uh, that, that's pretty much going to be the, oh wait, Lyft, uh, yeah, I guess the only way something could go terribly wrong is if Lyft moves first, which is impossible. Or before Catria, because then Catria can, of course, teleport to him. So I think we're okay in that respect. Uh, in terms of where Regan should go, honestly, here's probably just okay. Here's probably worse, I would say. Uh, is there any danger to this tile? Not really. So let's just do this. Yeah, that's what I expected. All right. We do a lot more damage than I thought we would. <laughs> okay. Is now good? That's a good question. Is now good? Um, <laughs> I think we're fine here as long as Marianne can deal with some stuff. I kind of want to take out Lyft. Yeah. Not with Marianne and like leave this Lyft alive, but... We're probably going to end up leaving Catria alive, which is not perfectly ideal, but, I mean, could be worse. Looks like Brave Veronica can pick up the kill in Saros after someone uses their action. Over here? Okay, we could do this, get some chip damage on Lyft. That's fine. Uh, although, I would like to then Kanto into... That's not feasible, so let's not do that. Um, yeah, we should probably So one dance has to be used to get Marianne over to Lyft another dance has to be used To get Marianne out of the way of Catria So we're already out of dances <laughs> Uh, okay, so that means we can't use Brave Veronica to take out Saros. So that means we just have to worry about dual lift one-shotting Marianne, which should be impossible. But we'll check to be sure. 75, uh... Wait, 75, 81, 88... Wait, we're going to inflict the uh, 20 chip, so 20 chip is going to make him just a one shot. Yeah, we don't even have to look uh, because Marianne will have minimum 66, which is 79. Uh, yeah, that's just lethal. If I'm not mistaken, worst comes to worst, we can just slide Brave Veronica over. So uh, I don't think we're going to be too concerned about that. Uh, let's do this. Oh, wait, we don't want Regan, huh? <laughs> let's just, just uh, move Regan out of the way then. That's fine. We can smite her up a uh, future turn. 
So yeah, that's just a one shot. And then now it's a matter of where do we want to put Marianne? Uh, I guess we have very few options. So <laughs> wait, we should have danced Regan and reposition because this gets us into tactics room, which is just objectively worse. Uh, we might not be able to BM flex, but we'll see here. Why are you going this way? Is Plumeria that much more terrible than... Or Catria just can't take out Marianne, so that's just why. I don't know. Let's just smite up here. Uh, because Regan's in Wings of Mercy range, so we can just do this for free. And then it should be GG at this point. Uh, unfortunately... I don't know if we can pick up the ether structures or all break all the structures and pick up the kill of Rayson. is that possible i guess we oh yeah that, that, it is possible we just do this Rayson still kills regardless yeah and then we just do this uh yeah seems good all right not too shabby for the last match of the season uh, honestly, this season was kind of a goofball fest. Uh, <laughs> we, we we definitely used Bull Tower pretty hard in this match. Also used it pretty hard in a couple of other matches. And then there were just some really terrible plays made <laughs> uh, during some offense matches. You'll hear a bit about that in the replays video. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, And hope to see you all next time. Bye.